hello viewers welcome to my channel once again and in this video i'm going to take you through this practical it's a database practical here we are presented with a case study or a problem to solve whereby uh, madam ann momani is uh, she's an ict consultant in McQueen distributors and she wants to develop a management information system for the company so currently she is designing sales database using three tables that is customers, uh, products and transactions. Here are the fields for each table. Required, you are supposed to create the MIS, identify the most appropriate primary key, create relationship between the three tables, uh, create forms or input screens and also end now the data using the forms. Finally, you are supposed to create a query to display customer name, product, description, quality, unit price, and save the query as MIS query. The query should have capability to calculate total payable by each customer. And finally, we are supposed to generate a report from MIS query and save it as MSI report. The final step is about printing customers, products, transaction tables, design, MI square and MSI report. So in this video, if you watch up to the end, you shall learn all of them. Welcome. And in the first question, and that is about the creating the, data, the database. Create a database named MIS and in it create three relations. So we will start with the database which is called MIS and this is how you create it open any folder and right click on a blank area and click new then select access now the database is MIS enter to save and enter again to open so here is my database uh, so we are supposed to create the database and this is it now we are done with the first step. The part is creating the three relations. I mean, create customers table in design view, products and transactions. And this is how you do it. Go to create. I'll only demonstrate one table and the others shall be created in the same, same way. So the first one is design table. And we start with customer ID. Customer ID type of data is short text uh, customer name customer name type of data short text postal address uh, address data type you can see here this is a number so you shall use number we got have a town town and this is a short text we also have phone and the phone is also a, is a number now we also told to identify the most appropriate field as primary key therefore in this table the most appropriate field for primary key is this one so select the field right and right click on it save it control or oh, okay save the table is customers customers save likewise to create the products table you are going to follow the same same procedure until the end so already we have created the three tables and the first table is customers whereby customers id is the short text customer name short text postal address can be a number or a short text town is a short text and phone number can be a number or a short text it's all upon you the other one is products table whereby we have the product id to be short text description be a short text packaging a short text unit price is currency and stock is a number the that table is transaction and here is the transaction table whereby the customer id is a number client name is a short text transaction date is a date stroke time products short text and the quantity um, number so we are done with the first question and even the second one now we are going to establish relationship between the three tables 
table is about the establishment of relationships among the three tables and also enforcing the referential identity and this is how we create relationship in tables go to database tools and under relationship click relationships now you can take the first one select customers and click add select products and again add transaction and add the new clause so you're going to have the three tables like that now we're supposed to link the tables here we have the customers id customers and transaction and products a common link between products table and transaction table and as you can see here in the common link here will be in product description here product description and products here is it and here is the products for you to establish a um, relationship or to link to tables one of the two fields should be the primary field there and therefore it means in our products table either product id or the product description can be the primary field therefore we are going to modify our table again uh, we are going to modify it again table design and set this one to be the pro primary key then you save now you can create the link between the two product description and products here then enforce referential identity and create and that's how you do the work closely look customers table and transaction table you shall see some common link customer name and also customer name here but the customer id is totally different client name and the customer name however in our tables here the customer name is not the primary key it means uh, link the two tables therefore we are going to change this table uh, open a design and make this one the primary key instead and save so we can link again customer name and client name and enforce differential identity and that's all now we have handled this question establish relationship among the three tables so as so whatever you have seen here it is a clear indication that this table we can either use this field customer id or customer name as the primary key likewise we can use products table product id or product description as primary key one of them and here uh, okay this one is the okay this one is the main key here only so a table can have more than one fields which can be used as primary field what matters is is it related to the other table then from there you can modify again you should learn that you can modify the table at any stage as long as the modification will allow the table to be linked with another table. saving the relationship we are going further to create forms according to question d therefore we're going to click create and under forms select form wizard uh, here select a table which you want to create the form from i want to create from customers then next columnar form then the form's name is customers form. then we do finish similarly let us create products form again go to create uh, under form select wizard now you select the ch change the table to go to products all of them next columnar form products form then finish and likewise you do the same to create transaction table I'm a form transaction form go here to wizard again select transaction input all of the fields next columna form and transaction form and then you are finished with it so here are the three forms this is transaction form 
here is the product form and here is the customer's form we are done with that it's to enter data into the use the respective forms to enter the following records in each table customer table here is it we are going to enter the page 001 hitting tab key will be the best way to navigate through the form and this field is about the customer name who is the Andrew Move Andrew Move first yeah. one is 209 uh, next we have town Mutitune Mutitune and next we have 200870 hit tab key again first another person is 8002 Okay, let me increase this size here and we have this person as Eric Eric on Songo uh, this is 68 tab key again don't use enter use tab key we have Nyamira Nyamira and ta hitting tab key will go to 248 567 tab key again until we enter the records up to the last person in products table or in producing products form we enter this record into the table and we are starting with the first person who is a a a001 this is cooking oil uh, 20 kg 20 uh, kg gallon 16,000 can shillings number and stock 80 hitting tab key AA03 um, this is rice and this is 50 kg 50 kg bags 516 stock and the process goes on until you are done with the three tables feeding the data the same same way Eric Onsongo being the last person, we can save our form and close it and go to the tables and check whether the data has been updated. Customers, all of them are here. Products, they are here. And transactions, here they are. So that's how we enter data into a table using a form. We are required to manipulate the table using a query whereby we form we are supposed to create a way that displays the name product description quantity unit price and also calculate the field total payable by each customer then we are supposed to save the query as mis query now this is how you create the query go to create and under query go to query wizard you can create a simple query wizard now we are supposed to be having the name eh, the customer's name and this is where we're going to get the customer's name here at customers you see the customer's name you put it there we need the product if this one is from the product and uh, here is the product description can call it product description and quantity again the quantity is in transaction or else let us get the product from get the product from the transaction so transaction here we have the products insert it then we also need the quantity again unit price unit price is in products here it is unit price 
and calculate the field that one will be calculated later and the query should be called mis query call it now mis q u e l r y then open the query to view information this is how the query will appear like yeah customer name products quantity unit price so we are supposed to add another field here which will calculate the totals and this is how you do it uh, open the query in design view and here it's a name and we are supposed to call it totals totals then full colon then the totals is equals to bracket quantity quantity bracket times uh, times what times unit price unit price close the bracket you can let me magnify this one so that you may see totals is equals to quantity times unit price then you can under design tab run and here is the totals i've already done it i've already done it this is the totals and this is what we are required to to do here we are done with that question if you are supposed to generate a report from a my query and save the report as mis report this is how you do it go to create and under reports choose report wizard select the query which is mis query and input all the fields next it's about grouping so you can group them uh, you can group these ones and I want to group them maybe using customers name such that under each customer there appears um, what the customer bought though it is not required according to the question but in some question you may be required to group so I, have, I will group my report using the customer's name so I will go next uh, you can sort records here you can sort by products quantity okay this one is not important next is layout can be block can be outline or state let me use outline to check how it looks like then you can choose either landscape or portrait orientation landscape will be okay then next should be called mis what's the name of the report it is mis report mis Then preview the report. It's loading. This is how it will look like customer name and remove products, mineral water and cooking oil. Customer name or reconsongo detergents. And this is the report. That's how you create a report. Sometimes the examiner may uh, tell you to give the report a different title from the name here. And in order to do so, you open the report in design view. And here then from here you can just write uh, my report. That name, new name you are given there, my report. And you save it again. You can even change the layout of these settings the way you want them. Save. And view the report once again. Here it is. Therefore, the last step is uh, printing customers, products, transaction table, and everything I mean here. So to print them, I'll just demonstrate one of them, like customers, open it, and go to file, print, you can select these three options, like you can print. Here you select the printer, there is HP here, or else any. So you can select any of them and then click OK and it will print thank you for being with me all over this, this season of uh, the video uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so so that you may be updated in the next uh, video update thank you for your time